I don't want to pay to see you. The niggas that I never heard before, they should be on URL. I should. They should be having. How you know? Easy the Black Captain started on YouTube. His first battle versus Swag Tanner dropped on YouTube. That's where his battle dropped, and that's where niggas started seeing him. That's where he said, I'm Thor. You think I'm Thor? Till I pick up that hammer. That's where I got interested in that nigga off YouTube. It wasn't off no fucking app. We used to rapping like that in this area with 51. Everything in the butterflies. Go get your man. And I feel like. So all y'all want to know what happened, I'm going to tell you what happened. He got smoked. You already know what it is, man. Salute to the subscribers, that notification gang, etc., etc. Don't let none of that get too far ahead of you. You know who I be. Follow me on IG, Vida underscore Fly. Tell your mama I said hi. Well, well, well. Make sure I get my L. You know, just in case I need it before we proceed it, man. You know, salute to every single one of y'all out there. Um, it's been a topic that's been people's been talking about for a couple of days now, so I figured I'd throw my opinion out there. You know what I'm saying? It's just me. Um, salute to Chris Unbias. I saw his blog where he was talking about no more YouTube releases. Smack is 100% independent. Said he's good about releasing on YouTube and wants some people to continue to subscribe to the app. Um, here's the deal. While I see what the goal is and the premise is of putting all the content on the URL app, I had the app for almost two years. Uh, when my app subscription had ended, I tested, I wanted to do a test. I wanted to see if there was anything that would drive me back to it, you know what I'm saying? And I have no problem having it, but I haven't had that, you know what I'm saying? I am, I will subscribe to it now, you know what I'm saying, just to support the culture, but the month or so that I didn't have it, I didn't miss it either. That was the thing. When I did not have it, I did not miss it. And if I didn't get it back, would it really even matter? He said uh, a couple things. Number one, that people don't recap app battles. He said, Vida Fly. I found myself recapping more app battles than anyone. And I was. We see it will pretty much die down, bro. It's not enough people that got the app. And it's not enough battles that are being talked about from the app. Something has to really, really happen before you'll talk about it from the app, like Kid Slade and Tay Rock. That was the app only battle. Like or Stumbles and, and uh Stumbles and Suge. That was the app only battle. There have been certain battles that have been recapped from the app, but it's not. Look at the bloggers around. Who's recapping app battles? You know what I'm saying? I do a few times. Vada Fly does it more than anybody. You know what I'm saying? Piper Boy doesn't. I thought about it. I was like, people ain't even able to see this shit. Like, most of the battles that I'm recapping, people are not able to see them. You can't use the footage. I'm the main, I'm promoting the app more than the motherfuckers who's probably getting paid with it. He got away with it. But he ain't get away with it. So I stopped doing it. I was like, man, I ain't, it is what it is. I stopped recapping, like, at battles and shit. And I mean, I'm sure I will when some fire comes out, but to be honest, does it dumb down the quality of what's going on in the battle rap streets and the algorithm, of course it does, because YouTube is such a powerful tool. And I understand, you know, as a URL's business, if they don't want to put no apps out, battles out on YouTube anymore, hey, it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? You're gonna have to cop the app to see them. But I'll say this. Do I think it stunts the growth of some of the artists? I do. You know what I'm saying? I've had this debate before, and I'm not gonna say that every single it's not every single artist but there are some artists that just don't know how to promote and i'm not going to say that the url is doing a fucking over the top amazing job of promoting all of these artists because that would be not true now when an artist catch fire and it's easy to promote them of course yeah, yeah it's going to happen but when they're just coming up you know you'll have a lot of guys in these tournaments a lot of guys in these crucibles and a lot of guys in these different systems, and when the development happens, they have to either blow up. It's either a, a blow or a no. If they don't blow up and get to the point where they're being forced to be um, promoted, they're not really getting promoted like that. Most of these guys don't have music. Most of these guys don't have YouTube channels. Most of these guys don't do nothing in between battles. They battle and then battle four months from now, or five months from now, or nine months from now. And you don't hear nothing else from them. You know, respect the DNA and his show, but 
that's not going to be enough to keep the app going. That's not like you know you got people that y'all are cool with or people that that they even have people that they have compromised and you should put that content on it. Put some people. You should be putting things on there to keep people engaged. I've said this before. There's really nothing to keep me engaged. You can't drop a battle from four weeks ago and then a podcast every once or every other day and that's gonna keep people engaged. It's just, it's just not. And they don't hear this from people who are not vested in their best interests. You know what I'm saying? Like me, like niggas know me, bro. I don't have to kiss no battlers ass. I don't have to be at these, I don't have to see these niggas every week or none of that shit. I don't, I do not. But when I see them, I get the utmost respect, bro. And it's because I don't kiss their ass. It's because I will say if they lost. It's because I will say it. It's like it is what it is. I don't get no benefit from telling uh, leagues that the event was fire if it wasn't fire or the battle was fire. Well, I'm not going to do that shit. You know what I'm saying? Uh, most of the places I go, I, they, the leagues, they make sure I get right in. My people get right in. You know, I get love. When I walk around, I see people. I seen people in the event this weekend with my merchandise on. And this is all from a person with their own independent YouTube channel. So I'm going to call it like I call it. Like I don't have to do the chores is what I call it. I don't have to do the chores for niggas. I don't have to show up every week. I ain't got to stand up in niggas' face. I ain't got to smile. I ain't got to pretend we friends. I ain't got to do none of that shit. I can just cut this camera on by myself. And 5, 10, 15,000 people are going to come watch. And they can't do nobody. They can't do shit about it. The people that love me, the people that hate me, they can't do nothing about it. Only person that can do something about it is me. So what I'm saying is, when it comes to the advice or the shit that niggas is hearing, they need to hear it from people who are unbiased, that don't have no cut. I'm not going to say something's good if it's not. Now, do I feel like YouTube is a viable tool to even promote it? Yes! YouTube should, be, should definitely be used to promote that. There'll be some battles, like you got a fire battle that you know nobody hasn't saw yet, like Rock versus Snake, which just know I know I know. I would have had a snippet or something of that shit out, and then to see the rest, this is where you need to go. They have those, they have cliffhangers in every business. Even the Hilton app still promotes. You know what I'm saying? And all these apps, like they have, they, have, they have perks, they have reasons to join, they have reasons to be a part of it. Giving me battles like the the, the 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 volume, ladies volume event happened like two months ago. That shit came out like a week ago. Who do y'all think is gonna wait for that kind? Nobody's waiting. I'm sorry. That's why that's why so many people that's why so many bootleg groups, that's why people bootleg battles and shit. Because nobody's gonna wait. People wanna see it now. So you got an event coming up with John John versus Chef Trez. You got Shotgun Shook versus Kid Slip. Shotgun Shook vs. Kid Slade, mad fire battles. And this shit is going straight to the app. <laughs> y'all niggas is tripping, bro. Y'all tripping with that shit. Where's all the rock battle every rookie that, that URL had? I ain't seen one recap. I ain't seen nobody. You know why they're not talking about it? Because I'm not doing it. And that's the reason why I can talk about it because who's recapping them shits more than anybody? I was. So it ain't getting done. Shout out to Chris, like I said. Make sure y'all see. Have y'all seen his stock drop list? Make sure you go see his stock drop list. Hold on a minute, player. It had a lot of replay value. I watched this shit more than once. Uh, he has some pretty interesting picks on it. Uh, I think it's a viable tool in battle rap. People, it's been used. It's been. It's, people look forward to it. And, you know, he's been getting wilder and crazy every year with this joint. And uh, it was very entertaining this year. Shout out to Chris and Bias. But he was the one that brought the light to me saying that, yo, buy the fly, recap more of these app joints than anybody. I was like, yo, I really am. I'm recapping this shit more than the niggas who get paid by you. I boy, ain't no fucking way, boy. Boy, ain't no way, boy. Boy, ain't no way, boy. I'm not, uh, y'all got to, y'all got to get, go ahead, y'all get it on your own, I'm good, I'm good. And I remember saying one time that a lot of these battles was not interesting. Like, they had to be dropping whole cards, nobody would be recapping. And another thing was, uh, I said that I'm not paying to see these independent league, league here, league here with all these niggas I never heard of. I don't negotiate with terrorists, I don't negotiate with terrorists. I get that motherfucker a look. You better freeze like a motherfucker.
her, right? That was my personal opinion. I'm not paying. Like, why am I paying to see people I never heard of and only see four folks on URL? And niggas just getting mad, going on podcasts, blah, 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 trying to talk about me or tear me down. What did that shit do? Absolutely nothing. You know why? Because I'm me, nigga. There's nothing that none of these niggas, I don't care how any of these niggas feel. I said what I said, bro. I don't want to pay to see you. The niggas that I never heard before, they should be on URL. I should, they should be having, how, you know easy the Black Captain started on YouTube? His first battle versus Swag Tanner dropped on YouTube. That's where his battle dropped, and that's where niggas started seeing him. That's where he said, I'm Thor, you think I'm Thor? Till I pick up that hammer. That's where I got interested in that nigga, off YouTube. It wasn't off no fucking app, it was off YouTube. The niggas who we don't know should be going to the YouTube. Make them, that's how we know who they are. We don't be knowing these niggas. And that's why you see the, sl the slower development in a lot of the artists. Because the general public who, you gotta think, right? If there's a hundred people in a room, just general people, a hundred people, all races, if I walk into that room and I say, how many of y'all got the URL at? Just regular people from nowhere. Three people may raise their hand. If that, a lot of the mass does not have it. And it's not being promoted, so people ain't getting it. And then, then the people who recap the battles ain't recapping the battles off the joint. Because who was doing the most? Nigga, I was. And then I ain't doing them. <laughs> so now that I ain't doing them, then who gonna do them? It's a lane. A lane being left wide open. You know why a lane's not, that lane that's being left wide open nobody cares about? Because it's not a viable, it don't, nobody cares. Nobody cares to recap an app battle and do 3,800 views. I ain't gonna do 3,800 views. <laughs> this ain't gonna do 3,800 views. Uh, you know, <laughs> I do more, I don't brag a lot, but I do views, more views than most of these niggas. Most. You could add up a couple channels and I could stop for a year and a lot of niggas is not catching me. Let's get back to it. So I, I, I just think that while Smack may be making this 100% independent stance, and the reason why I was saying about the cards is like, you got a big card coming up and it's not on caffeine. It's not being live stream. So if you're not there, you're not gonna see it, and most of the world ain't gonna be there. And for some of these artists, it's taken away from their development. If Kid Slate comes and bombs on Shotgun Shug, or finds or wins, or it's a phenomenal performance, or Shotgun Shug, that shit deserves to be seen. Why invest all of that money into this battle if you're gonna hold the shit and then release it by week, by week, first week of June or some shit like that? By the time it comes out, nobody even cares. It's not even interesting anymore. That's what I'm saying. You kill the buzz of your own product when you hold it. If you don't get nothing else out of this shit, fuck everything else I said. You are killing the buzz of your own product if nobody knows it. Because if John John and Trez battle and have a fucking classic and nobody sees, hears, or knows from it for another two weeks, we was hyped for it last week. Great that they did it, but <laughs> it don't, it ain't gonna equal up. Who the fuck y'all think is writing down all the bars? Like, when, it, when you really talk about breaking down battles and shit, right? I don't watch recaps of other people breaking down battles. I don't. Because I feel like I do it better than most. Me and Showtime SP. He is me and I am him. That's my brother. So I feel like him and me recap battles probably better than everybody in the world, collectively. I'm just going to be honest. Like, when it comes to really recapping and breaking down shit, line for line for line for line for line for line for line, that's what we do. Period. You could hate me from 2035, guess what? If I left the world today, I would leave the world today as one of the greatest niggas to ever recap battles, period. And that ain't gonna change. But I don't have interest in it. Why am I gonna sit there and go tap, 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 and do write down all these bars for a battle, right? Come break it down with SP, and nobody who's watching the recap is gonna see the battle. That shit don't make no fucking sense. That's why I don't do it, you know? I may, like, now if something comes out like Slaver, Shotgun, and Sugar, and it's only on that, yeah, we'll recap it because most people ain't gonna see it. But there's other battles that's on that joint that will take a hit. Because if I do a breakdown on certain battles, you gotta believe I'm not breaking down every battle on the card, especially if it's on the app. Can't use the footage, can't screen record. If I put a clip in my video, they're gonna be trying to pull my fucking channel down. So I don't even use niggas' footage no more. You know what I'm saying? I use other leagues' footage. I went there. 
I was at uh, the Hollow and Will shit. I got me the 40 second clips and I'm, I'm able to throw them in the joints because I'm promoting the league. They're going to let me put the footage in because I'm not promoting myself. These niggas will pull your video down like you ain't promote. Ah, you know what? Y'all got it. I don't even want to fucking talk no more. Fuck this. So if YouTube is over, it's cool. The business can run how it runs. But I'm just letting you know that you're killing your own product if it's not being promoted. Nobody's going to recap them shits. Nobody cares. Nobody's going to promote them. The shows on there is cool, but I, I, I need more. If we ain't getting no... No, no, no band battles, no barbershop battles, no chronicles of niggas' lives, no, no going to the, you like, like, I'm biased to saying, like, going to niggas' hoods, like, getting opinions, like, shit like that is what we want to see.